Hello everyone! In today's video I decided to take a look at Anchor Bay's indie horror releases. Basically, back in 2000s Anchor Bay released some modern, well modern for that time, horror movies which uh, were pretty low budget and uh, independently made. And as you will see today, some of them are really interesting but some mm, kind of bad. Let's begin with Dead and Breakfast. That's The cover is great, the cover is pretty good. The US answer to Shaun of the Dead. Oh, Shaun, Shaun of the Dead is such a better movie than this. But this movie though, okay, it's not terrible. The thing is, it's, it's very boring. Because nothing really exciting happens and the, the jokes don't work and the songs are pretty bad. Just didn't care for this at all. Will I watch it again? Probably yeah, but I will have to wait several years until I completely forget it. Because the idea is cool, but it just doesn't work. Maybe with a bigger budget, a remake would be good, but it is what it is. Oh, next we have The Tooth Fairy. Not to be confused with Darkness Falls. Now, that's a much better movie. This one, though, I actually didn't hate it either. It's kind of fun. Technically, it's bad, but just got this weird vibe to it, which is... I don't know, I was <laughs> entertained all throughout. It is bad, I'm not gonna argue that it's a good movie, but I sort of enjoyed it, I don't know, it had this weird atmosphere to it, kind of cheesy, eh, it's okay. Now this one though, oh, now that's some garbage here, Satan's Playground, what a just a horrible movie. Now I'd say to watch is based on the cast, we have Phyllis Ross here and Ellen Sandwich, but this is just a disaster, the story is complete nonsense. Just some random characters, ah, oh, it's just awful. And I feel like with this one, uh, even a remake, like, there's nothing to fix in this one. Basically, you need to completely redo the movie. There's nothing good in this. Just total waste of time. Now we got some good stuff, though. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. The cover is great. And the movie is amazing as well. It's, uh, if you like slashers, you have to watch this. Because this is a an amazing uh, basically like scream it uh, this meta deconstruction on slashers and it's really good some great atmosphere leslie vernon is an awesome killer some great jokes and references it's a fantastic movie and again this one is low budget indie stuff but this one is actually good unlike this previous ones we just saw this one is actually great highly recommend and the last here is another banner, Hatchet. That's the very first one. And I'm pretty sure that's my favorite in the franchise. Now, the sequels are fine, but this very first one, it got this... This is the funniest one. The jokes are hilarious, and the mix of horror and comedy works great. Victor Crowley is a great character. I like the backstory. I like the setting, the characters in this one. It just works. It's a really fun slasher. And I'm not even a fan of slashers, but Hatchet and Behind the Mask are definitely the highlights. So as, we, as you can see, Anchor Bay did pick up some good stuff occasionally, but a lot of the stuff is just dirt, just pretty bad movies. And there is more movies that I don't have, but I think after Satan's Playground, I'm kind of not willing to trust on, to buy any more of Anchor Bay stuff. But again, stuff like Hatchet and Behind the Mask it reminds me there were some good things I did occasionally. But that's the end of this video. See you again next time.